The fight against the Hydra was probably one of the best in Mushoku Tensei, and in many other anime as well. It's not so much about the animation, the strategy, or even the death of Paul and Rudy's loss, but simply because of how this battle was portrayed. In contrast to many other anime, there was a completely unique, fast, and merciless approach, with a very consistent approach to conflict and the accompanying costs for Rudy and company. First of all, there was no pause in the action when Paul was split in two. We somehow didn't even notice, Rudy and of course we were far too focused on the Hydra. You could say our attention was on it, and because Rudy acted immediately, staring the Hydra in the eye or rather poking it with his arms, and in return having his whole arm torn off because the Hydra blinked, everything felt so absolutely believable. The action did not halt. There was no five-minute slow motion, no characters speaking from the sidelines and shouting, Oh no, look at Paul! But the focus remained on the huge Hydra in front of them. The Hydra didn't wait patiently for everyone to finish their dialogue to continue fighting. Everyone was focused on the Hydra until the end, completely engaged in defeating the threat. There was no time to think about Paul or anything else, simply because the Hydra was still an enormous threat until the very end. And even then, when the beast finally lay on the ground, Rudy had other things on his mind. He had been thrown through the air, lying with severe injuries and without his left arm, which, incidentally, he had given the nickname Hercules during training and was now bleeding profusely on the floor. So Rudy focused on casting a healing spell to stop the bleeding and the pain. We, the camera, and the plot were still entirely focused on Rudy and his injuries because we had experienced everything from his perspective in the foreground all along. Only when Rudy was healed, got up, and spoke to Paul, did it suddenly become clear to him and to us what had happened, that Paul had been halved, and even Paul only realized when he was left alone with no healing that it was the end for him and he would die. Also, the fact that there was no breakdown, no crying, but rather a kind of functioning from Rudy was tragic and felt realistic. It was not a typical anime scene, but stood on a completely different level due to the continuous action and brutal realism. Additionally, the fact that important characters like Paul could die and that Rudy's mother received lasting damage are things that one would not have expected, and here they happened. No farewell monologues, no long goodbyes while someone is dying. But here are the 47% of Paul that you can still be identified. There comes a mere glance and a smile that says more than a thousand words and that's it. And to be honest, I like this kind of approach to combat and conflict since it is, as I said, very close to the real world. Where the comrade next to you in the foxhole gets hit by a bullet, but you're so focused on the enemy in front of you that you only realize he's hit when the danger is over, and you wonder why he's not reacting to you. Capturing that is really an art and was one of the highlights of this season. So now it's your turn. What is your opinion on the topic in the video? Feel free to write it in the comments. What do you think, how would the battle have turned out? Would Rudy have been 100% committed to it? And how would it have turned out if Ghislaine had been there as the theme was named after her? Okay, bye.